Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. By what you guys signed the title, today's video, I mean, obviously, it's gonna be a get ready with me. So um, I didn't have anything planned, but as soon as I woke up today, I was like, you know what? I need to take pictures. Cause I had this outfit planned out for last weekend, but it was raining and it was just not, it was just not gonna work out. But this week is literally perfect. Well, it's a little too hot, but I mean, it's still perfect for pictures, right? Hopefully. So I'm just gonna be getting ready, you know, doing my hair, doing my makeup, doing my hair, showing you guys what outfit I'm gonna be wearing. And then probably once Kenny gets home, if he's probably gonna get home soon. But yeah, probably when he gets home after he showers and all that, we're gonna go to this park that's near my house. So I obviously already have my eyebrows and my eyelid prepped for eyeshadow. I'm not gonna do anything really like, you know, like boom on your face because my outfit, it's, in my opinion, it's already like, well, it's gonna be like, you know, the whole picture pretty much. Ew, did I just spit? But yeah, pretty much the, I want my outfit to be the center of attention. So my makeup, I'm gonna keep it, you know, just minimal, just, you know, a good bronzy look. That's all I want. I don't know if I'm gonna wear lashes. Lately, I've been doing looks without lashes and I've been liking, liking them better. Um, honestly, it's just my contacts and my sensitive eyes. Whenever I wear lashes, it just kind of like irritates my eyes a lot and I just don't like it. So I've been going more for without lashes because it's more comfortable. But if I feel like my makeup you know, if, if I feel like wearing lashes, then we're gonna wear lashes. Okay, so for eyeshadow, I am just gonna be using my bronzer. Like I said, I don't wanna do something super, like, heavy. I wanna keep it really natural, simple, just because the outfit is gonna be the center of attention. Well, the pants. I really like how my eyebrows turned out today. At first, they were not, like, working with me but then after i filled them in and i fixed whatever i needed to fix i kind of like them i've been doing them really short and i mean my eyebrows should reach all the way over here that's why i added that little tail kind of looks kind of off honestly but i'm gonna leave it because i like how long it looks it's just my eyebrows don't really grow that far anymore Ever since I plucked them like really thin when I was in Mexico, like when I used to live in Mexico, it just, they just didn't grow like that. Oh my God, I'm, I am so happy that this week I am, it's finally, you know, good weather and well, it's kind of hot, so it's not that good, but I mean, the sun is out, which makes it better because last week was just not it. I mean, weather-wise, it was perfect, but I was just really stressed last week. It was just not a good week for me, and it was all my fault. <laughs> I was the one stressing myself out for no reason. I was just not having a good week, but this week, I feel completely different. I literally, <laughs> I posted a picture on my Instagram with that as a caption. I feel like... I should do more captions like that, you know, like kind of like saying about my life. I feel like I like the whole, you know, like, oh, like quotes or um, lyrics for your caption. But I feel like I don't even have any more good lyrics, you know, like all the songs are kind of like not that inspiring anymore. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to leave the eyeshadow just like this. You know, just something bronzy. Um, I'll finish it off after I'm done with like my base. Oh my god, I also have this breakout. I wanted to pop it so bad, but I know I shouldn't. So I have been resisting, even though it's really hard because usually I just want to like you know squeeze it and get it out. But I knew that if I did that, I would regret it. I would get a little scar, just like this one. And then I would have to deal with it for longer. Like literally this one has been there for like a week now. And like, I mean, there's no pimple, but like the scar is still there, you know, like the gray cast. And like, it's not worth it. 
but we're gonna color correct it so it'll be okay i'm just gonna use like a little green just a little bit this one is kind of gray so i don't think green would kind of would cancel it out but i'm gonna try it anyway oh my god so my birthday is next month i am so excited like I'm excited, but I'm not, but I am because like, I mean, it's my birthday, duh. And last year I couldn't really enjoy my birthday. It was just, last year during my birthday was just something. Really traumatic, honestly. Like being honest, yes it was. Is it that you see? Hopefully it's not that loud. I don't want you guys to hear that. I want to close my door so you guys can't really hear the AC, but then it's going to get super hot and I'm going to start sweating, so that is not, that is not a good idea. So I guess we're just going to have to deal with it. So lately, I've been thinking a lot about my YouTube, you know, just like my career and what I want to do and what I want to keep doing because I've been feeling like, you know, like, like I like to do makeup, you know, and you know tutorials and all that but i feel like they're like everywhere like you know everyone knows how to do makeup now so i feel like i should have like another you know like another purpose but i don't know what it is like i don't know how to find it i don't maybe it's fashion or maybe it's just being more comfortable and confident i mean i, st I still have to work on that too but you know, like maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. I don't know. I'm just really confused right now with what I'm be, I'm like supposed to be doing. Well, not supposed to, but with what I like to do. I just keep going back and forth with what I should do. But oh my God, look at this foundation. This is so freaking good. I love this foundation. I have to repurchase it because this one is almost empty. I guess I just have to, you know, keep trying things and see what I like, see what I don't like. And that will get me closer to what I actually, you know, love and what I actually have for the people, for you guys. I need to get more books. Like, I like the books that I have, but they don't really get me, like, hooked. Like, the Jen Sinceros one, they were so fire. I literally finished them so fast. But, like, all the other ones that I got, like, they're good, but it's taking me a while to finish them. So like that's how I know that I don't really like them because the Jin Sinceros, they were literally such a quick read and they were so easy to read. They were just, oh, they were amazing. I love her book. Literally every single one of her books are fire. Actually, there's one that I haven't read. I'll probably purchase it one day, but right now I'm more into books with like, you know, self-love, just, you know, you upgrading yourself whatever habits or whatever you know i want to change that's what it me as a person i love this foundation so much i can't believe i stopped wearing it i can't believe it's already the middle of june i mean june <laughs> the middle of july it's already probably even what day is it the 18th it's even the 19th not even the little in the middle anymore. It's almost the end of July. That's fucked. I want to go buy more makeup. And I want to go now, but I feel like I should just wait for August. Because I know that I'm going to want to splurge because it's my birthday month. So I'm just going to wait. I mean, it's literally, what, like a week? A week and a half? So I'm just going to wait. So meanwhile, you guys should tell me what products you guys love so i can try them i i'm thinking about trying rare beauty i haven't tried it or um um fenty beauty i haven't tried fenty beauty either so i feel like purchasing some of their products because i mean everyone loves them so i feel like you know i feel like i would like them too but i also feel like just trying drugstore more drugstore ones because i always try to like i feel like i always try to go with like high end just because i feel like 
if you pay more you get a better product but i mean elf is literally proof that it can be cheap and be a good product so i don't know if i should wear lashes honestly i was thinking about it but then now i'm kind of like i don't know i don't know if i should i feel like i'm doing my makeup so fast today I mean, like, it's been 20 minutes. I've been filming for 20 minutes, but it feels like less than that. Like, I don't know. I feel like I'm already, like, almost done with my makeup, and it's like, how? Mm, it's probably because I don't have any music on. And usually, if I have music on, I'm just, like, you know, vibing. So, I love this NARS concealer. I loved it, then I kind of, like, didn't like it. And then I didn't even understand why I didn't, so I tried it again, and I am in love. I don't know why I didn't like it. I probably used it with, like, some other foundation, or, like, something was off. I probably used something else, and that's why I didn't like it. It just gave me a different, like, different consistency. Different. Hmm. Different, what would you say? Yeah, my hair is still so wet and now my shirt is like all damp. I keep thinking about how I change conversations so fast. Like I literally, I'm talking about something and then I'm literally like, I go on to the next thing when, without even like knowing. Literally just like how I did right now. Like I could be talking about anything and then all of a sudden my like something just pops into my head and I'm just like, oh, this. And like, I mean, I like it, you know, but then I feel like, I don't know. I feel like people can't keep up with me. You know, I feel like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Like, look at how perfect this concealer is. Oh my God. I love it so much. It's definitely pricier. I think it's like 30 30 dollars, 30 something. But like look at how it works, you know? Like it's just so good. Oh yeah, anyways, see literally what I was talking about. <laughs> Okay, but my point. Um sometimes I feel like saying sorry, you know, and like changing that, but then I'm like like that's just how I am, you know, like that's just me and I guess like, you know, if people don't like it, then they can just There's another like million people out there that you'll probably like so like, you know, like I don't really have to change myself for someone else Because there's probably already someone out there for you, you know, like that you like well talking and like YouTube sense You know, like there's a million other girls out there that know how to do makeup and they probably don't talk as much as I do. Like, they don't go all random like I do. You know, if you don't like me, then you'll probably just go watch her. So yeah, I don't need to change myself for someone else. If I'm going to change myself, it's going to be for me. And it's going to be for a better version of myself. I need to get another powder. This one is almost done. And I think I am going to repurchase Laura Mercier. I know I was like kind of off it for a little bit just because I wanted to try something else but as soon as I like got it back and I just saw how good it is I don't think I'm gonna leave it at least for a little bit unless I find something better than probably I wanted to try the one size one but I've been seeing like mixed reviews about it so I'm not sure if I want to I'll see once I go splurge for my birthday I'll see which one if I feel like trying one, I feel like maybe I'll try the one size, but the pressed powder instead of the, like the loose powder. Hey, no. Oh my God. So anyways, so on my June faves, I talked about this hair oil that I got. I mean, I'm pretty sure you guys know the hair oil. It's literally, you know, it's a brand that's like well known for like their hair products so it's the this one the millie rosemary men scalp and hair strengthening oil i mean you guys definitely know which one it is but if you guys don't this is what it looks like so yeah that oil and i talked about it 
about how um just how much i liked it and i've literally like at that like during that video i've just i think i've just used it like twice but oh my god i promise you guys that that thing is like the best thing that i have tried for my hair like there's other things that like in my hair care routine oh wait never mind it wasn't my june favorites it was my um hair care routine video i'll leave it somewhere here on the screen so you guys can go watch it if you guys haven't but anyways <laughs> back on the oil i wasn't really like you know judging it because i like i said i just at that point i just used it like twice so like i couldn't really say if it was really helping my hair like that you know i, I couldn't really give an honest like review but now that i've used it oh my god i like my hair was falling out so much i have no idea why maybe it's stress i don't know hormones you know it just falls out my hair is long so i feel like that that's also a reason why it falls out more or why it looked like it was falling out more but ever since i've been using that like my hair is like like my hair loss is like gone like whenever i showered literally the drain would get clogged because of all that my hair that would fall out so i would have to like take it off and then wait for the water to keep draining and then keep showering but now it's like barely any like five six hairs it's oh, i honestly couldn't believe it and then i kenny struggles with dandruff or dry scalp i don't know if it's like a fun like a fungus or just a dry scalp i don't i don't know but i made him try it just like the one time because i told him that i wasn't gonna let him <laughs> keep using it because i knew that he was gonna like it and ever since then like his dandruff is pretty much gone like it just i don't know maybe it was then a dry scalp because i don't if it was a fungus i don't think that would really help like Take it off is that what it's called a fungus a fungi you can have it on your scalp right that is literally the best thing ever i i don't know how i don't know why and i don't know why i didn't try it before i always saw it i just always thought like no you know i feel like most of the products on tiktok that they talk about it's just for like the trend and everyone's just like on the bandwagon and so everyone has to like you know you see it on tiktok so you got you get it because you saw it on tiktok even if it's not a good product you know you just want to like get it because some like that one person on tiktok like liked it so there you go and go buy it guilty i've, d I've done that that's what i'm saying now i know why everyone was actually like talking about it like that because it's fire so yeah, if you want to use something for your hair, like for it to help it grow and just like fall out and just help the shine, definitely go get that. It's like $10. At first I was like, it's pretty pricey for just like a little bottle of oil, but a little bit goes a long way. Like it's just, I could keep talking about it because everything is just so perfect. The smell, the smell is kind of like, strong it's like a mint a mint smell but mint mint minty it's a mint smell yeah there you go so it is kind of stronger so whenever i put it on the cats are like like sniffing my hair they're like hmm, like what is that and like what is that smell but i mean it's not a bad smell but it, but if you don't like mint like that like smelling it then it's probably not for you but if you don't mind it, then it's definitely a product you should try. Like now I'm getting towards the end of my makeup and I still don't know if I want to wear lashes. Voila. Honestly, when I woke up today, I was not feeling it. I was like, I don't know if I should even do my makeup. Like, like I don't really feel like doing anything, but I knew that I couldn't let it go to waste. Like I can't let this day go to waste. I have to at least do something, you know? So I got my ass up and I showered. And then after I showered, I felt perfectly fine. Honestly, it's so um, shocking to me how, like, a shower can change everything. Like, it's just, like, 
it like rinses out everything like negative and like sad or whatever you're feeling like it just like it leaves your body my eyebrow ends look kind of like ugly but i'm gonna leave them anyway hopefully you can't see it on camera and if you can i'm probably just gonna photoshop it that urban decay setting spray is fire benji's looking at me like what is this bitch doing okay now let's go ahead and do my lips and then i'll do my you know my eyes and decide if i want to do lashes after that because i still don't know if i want to hmm. okay now with lashes Okay, let me see how they would look. Hmm, yes or no? Whatever, let me just curl my lashes and, you know, do mascara, all that. And then after that, if I like how it looks, then I'll just leave it. And if I feel like I can go, you know, a step further, <laughs> then we'll just apply lashes. Oh my god, I need to get a new eyelash curler. Because, like, I like this one, but I don't like how, like, I like them to be a little bit rounder. This one is a little bit too straight and I feel like it did, I struggle to get my lashes in there. Hmm. Should we keep it or should we do lashes? Hmm. What do you guys think? Lashes or no lashes? I wish you guys could tell me. You know, like... I could see it kind of like alive. <laughs> Did you? I don't know. Because I like it, but then I'm like, I feel like lately on my Instagram, I've been posting like just pictures without lashes. So I feel like doing lashes because, like, I mean, you know, that's me. Let me ask, let me ask Eric. Eric! Necesito tu opinión. Okay, ¿te gusta mi make -up? Pero necesito que seas honesto, 100% honesto. Si te gusta mi make sí. no. Okay, ¿piensas que deberías de usar lashes o no. lo dejo sin lashes? No, sin lashes. ¿Por qué? Se van a ver muy grandes. Pero sí me he puesto lashes antes y me has dicho que se miran bien. Sí. Oh, ¿sí? Sí. ¿Sí? Ah, ya, ya me acordé. No sé, es que siento que... ¿Tú qué? Lo, te las vas a poner para que se vean más abundantes, ¿no? Ese es el punto. O so, sea, para que se miren más largas, o se mirarían como así, miren. Estas no están puestas. Uh -huh. Que se miren más bien, pues. Pues más larga. Ok, pues no se miran bien, pero como algo así. Porque no están bien pegadas, pero. So, con o sí. Yo no están así. ¿Sí? Ah, con este maquillaje. Uy, oh, siento okay. que estas están muy grandes. Pero es algo más chiquito. Okay, well then, I guess we're going with no lashes. Can you come here? Let's just ask him. Should I do lashes or no lashes? Eric said no lashes. So no lashes would just be like this. Uh, what are you wearing? Those pants that you're sitting on. Those? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Those and then a black shirt and my black shoes. Those are yours? It's just bronzer. Well, I don't know. I'm just looking to like, see you have like, your lashes there. Um, I want to say wear them because I feel like, isn't it like the pants are a little more dramatic? No? 
Or do you think it's more like low key? Yeah, the pants are definitely the like, Then I would do the lashes then. So then I should do lashes? Well, yeah. how about you just... Oh, well, you could do your lashes before, right? Yeah. Uh, I guess you don't have to. Okay, but like, does this look fine? Mm -hmm. I don't know Do you think it would look better with lashes on? I was, I was just doing the lashes because like your pants are like extra slight. But. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I feel like putting them on, but then I'm like... <laughs> What's stopping you? Well, because I don't know if it would, they would look better with or without. Oh. Cross our fingers. Hopefully this turns out good. Oh my god, wait. I'm gonna go off camera and do this off camera just because I just noticed my camera is dying. And I still have to do my hair and show you guys my outfit. So, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off, charge it for a little, and then come back and show you guys, you know, my hair and my outfit. So yeah, I'll be back. Okay, is it recording? Um, is this on? We are back and I am done. I know I told you guys that I was gonna film while doing my hair, but I mean, I just straighten it. So I feel like there's not really a lot to show. But let me show you guys my outfit. So I'm just wearing a simple black crop top. My necklace with my name. I love this necklace. I got it for Christmas. Kenny's mom gave it to me. Shout out Kenny's mom. Um, then I am wearing these. Sorry, Ben. I'm wearing these pants, camel pants. I actually thrifted these they were like ten dollars i was like kind of shocked and then i'm just wearing my regular all black converse so yeah this is what my outfit looks like so let's hope there isn't a lot of people where i'm going because it's gonna feel kind of awkward i mean i kind of have to get over it because I mean, if I want to keep taking pictures in front of like, you know, in like public places then I'm going to have to take pictures in front of people and I just have to, you know, get over the fact that they're looking at me. I, it's still kind of awkward, but I mean, I just have to work on it. But yeah, guys, that is it for today's Get Ready With Me. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. And if you guys did, then please make sure to give it this video. Blech. Then please make sure to give this video a like and if you're not already then please make sure to subscribe. You guys obviously know where the button is. Thank you guys so much for watching me and keeping up and I hope to see you guys on my next video. Bye guys.